This is H2O2 from H2O. And this is my newest piece of production equipment. It's an etching tank. It has a built-in heater. An aerator that works from the bottom. So the air goes in here, comes down here, bowls, and then it can actually go back up and go to the next unit if you need to uh, expand your production line. Uh, in this case, I just have one. I'd like to put a shout out and a thank you for this donation. It was uh, donated by uh, uh, CircuitDesign.com. Um, Mike Putnam donated this to me. He can be reached at 541-441-0300. Uh, he uh, has abandoned his uh, etching uh, for CNC mill. Mike's business involves um, uh, circuit layout and then final production. So if you need any services, please give him a call. So what I've got is uh, two boards for production. I've got the uh, PWM uh, version uh, 2.1.6 and the uh, Sensor Suite Alpha version uh, 2.1.1. So this um, this little unit uh, does etch a little faster. Uh, I'd say significantly faster. Um, And I think the main reason for that is that um, the, the unit is heated. I'm going to go ahead and time this. Okay. So I just wanted to say um, that this uh, this makes it easier for me to do the etching. It gives me a more area to work. Um, I can get more boards in at one time. But my old system that I just did display does work. Um, it does take a little bit longer, but it's a, still a sound system. Um, but with the right glues and uh, the right uh, plastics, you could make this yourself real easy. Before this was donated, I thought about taking a fish heater uh, that got a maximum temperature um, and just making something out of PVC like this. But I was fortunate, fortunate enough to have a donation. You see, it's already, already starting. Pretty good. Taking the back right off. So if you noticed, I did rotate that one after a couple minutes.
just allows it to get into a, a different flow. The bubbles do rise up from the bottom here and come on up. It really agitates the uh, solution and, and balances the heat out. Still a little bit more. Okay, I, uh, I have edited some of the time out of this video. Current edge time is uh, 11 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, this one's done. Locked on there. I'll just touch up the back with the Dremel. Okay. get it back in there. I just took a sharp nail and scratched the uh, copper in that area a little bit. It seemed to be pretty thick like uh, maybe it was contaminated or something. So this acid in this tank is the original acid that I had uh, in my uh, former videos. Um, I have yet to dispose of it. Um, I do add, um, I had to make a larger volume, uh, so I've added uh, the hydrochloric acid and the um, hydrogen peroxide to it in the same ratio. Um, and I do occasionally add a little bit of uh, hydrogen peroxide to uh, boost it a little bit, um, but there is some evaporation that goes on, so a lot of that water does uh, end up evaporating out. Overall, I, uh, I'm very satisfied with the, uh, the uh, acid copper two uh, etchant. Um, and if you have any questions about how I uh, make the uh, acid uh, copper two. Um, just go ahead and uh, look at my older videos. I'll put a link at the end of this one that refers you back to that. There we go. Been pretty good. So again, I just want to put a, uh, a thank you out to uh, Mike Putnam of uh, CircuitDesign.com. So this has been a production run of the PWM and the Sensor Suite Alpha. This is H2O2 from H2O signing out.